Blanket stitch is a fun way to stitch any basic motif. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Welcome to Eva's Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So blanket stitch is a way to stitch motif that looks really different and unusual compared to some of the other embroidery stitches that I've shown you. Today, I'm going to be stitching this flower motif with blanket stitch. So let's see how it's done. I'm starting to stitch up in the corner of the motif because that's what I find easiest. So I bring my thread and needle to the front and then I take a little stitch on the inside of the motif perpendicular to the line. Now I'm sure that my needle goes above the tail of the thread because that's what will give the little L shape on the stitches. Once I've gone all the way around to the other side, then I'll turn the corner and continue working along that line. And when I get to the very end of the line, then I will just take a straight stitch to finish off the thread. On the back of the piece, I will weave the end of my thread underneath the stitches to finish it off. Then I can come back up to that same corner and go down that last little line. On the inner peak of the flower, I decided to do smaller stitches as a design choice. So feel free to experiment with different sizes of stitches within the piece. There are a lot of ways you can play with this stitch and make variations for different looks. Once I finish stitching all the lines, my piece is done and I think it looks great. So there's the finished piece. Now on this piece, I stitched with the little spikes of the blanket stitch going into the motif, but you could also stitch it with them going out. You could stitch it with them switching direction. You can have them closer together, further apart. There are so many variations and way to play around with this stitch. So have fun playing with this and using this embroidery stitch to stitch motifs. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out evadastudio.com.